Hi there, welcome to Bell CB. The radio I got today, it's going to be impossible to read out the front of there, is the, I don't want to get it wrong, it's the 936FF, or FC4, not FF, 936FC4. So what we have here is like, uh, if you remember the 936, that was like a, like a, a a Galaxy 939, right? So it's a like a Galaxy 939 chassis. They put a double final, and then they put the four pill 2879 amplifier in the bottom. The uh, <clears throat> made in China 2879s. So I did some rework there to match them and get more power out. These units start out pretty low. Didn't even do four. Not even close. And now I've got five out of it, so I was pretty happy with that. We put an echo board in there. It's a pretty tight fit. Why don't we go take a look at that? You can see what that looks like. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome inside your radio. I just wanted to show you a little bit inside here. I put the control in the side of this radio. Oh, this is in the middle. I put the control inside here, sticking out the left-hand side of the radio. Okay, it's right in that little that square that's in between the two knobs. So that's where that goes out. Now I, I covered the whole thing in heat shrink because there's some uh, wire buses down there that come really close to it. Okay, and then I'm going to put this. See, I made a little hole for my bracket. I'm going to put this right in there, and I made a hole for that right there. Okay. I also coated that in heat shrink because it's in the really jammed area. In case anything touches it. Look at that beauty of stuff I purchased. Look how big that is. <laughs> you can fit any circuit board I want, all the echo boards and stuff from now on. I'm gonna be coated when I want them. Safe. Okay. Now let's get all this hooked up and show you what it looks like inside. When okay, done. I got it all done. Mounting it on the sidewall didn't work. Uh, as you see, I had the hole here, and that's as far in as I can get it, is right here. And it's just, just to the edge of that amplifier. It just wasn't making it. So I went right here with a really good quality wrap. That's a steel clip reinforced tie wrap. Over here, the wires quickly just go down. Come around this corner. Kept it real short and sweet. And they attach here. it for the inside. Let's get back to the tune-up report. Okay, so let's see what that sounds like. All the tune-ups are done, alignments. On this watt meter, George, over here we got 100, 200, 300. 100 watts all the way up. And the power all the way down, they disable the low. I don't know what they do that for. But uh, let's turn it down, Carl. The power all the way down goes all the way down to two. I didn't like that. I wish it was a little higher, but we could live with it. All right, now I'm going to bring the power back up again. We got to back up to the 100 watt carrier. Now, peak power 1000 watt slug. 400, 600, that little line right there. Shouldn't have zoomed in so far. That little line right there is 500. Audio check 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 one two three four five audio check 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 audio audio one two three four five check 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 one two three four okay yeah, I heard some skip out here earlier let's Radio check. I appreciate it.